I heard a story <laughs> that the original Methodists started charging people. Actually, our youth pastor told us about it, and it's because um, in the Methodist church, people had to pay to get pews in the front row, and, and or just pay for pews in general. The more expensive seats were towards the front, and then the poor people had to sit in the back. And the Free Methodists believe that anyone should be able to be a part of the church equally. Anyone could come, and anyone could sit anywhere, and anyone could worship God. So people that thought that that was stupid, would like they went and formed their own church and called it a Free Methodist Church so everybody could sit down without having to pay for it. And the Free Methodists were also formed um, around the beginning of the anti-slavery movement, and so they thought that all people should be equal and that slavery was wrong. You've asked how all of this plays today, how it connects with our, our, uh, our calling today. What does it mean to be free? Free is a very basic term. Scripture is full of the word free. I don't believe that free means tolerant of all things. The whole idea of the free in the Free Methodist is simply being open. A freedom and uh, the liberty. Having boundaries around our expression. Free from sin. Freedom of bondage. Being real. Not having limitations. Freedom of expression. Not constricted. Not having any kind of ceiling. Freedom to give. Freedom from uh, the bondage of sin. So that we are free to do what it is God is calling us to do. To be Kenny and so the way God created me. I'm free to love, I'm free to build relationships, I'm free to share the good news. That's why I don't have to try to be someone I'm not. So that's personal kind of spiritual freedom, but it also is a community freedom. More about an attitude toward people and, and an embracing. We're not limited in what God can do in and through us. I'm free to be who I am in Christ. The freedom to love one another. I think of free as in costing everything that you have the freedom to bear one another's burdens. I'm free to look at their needs. Free to honor God with my life. The freedom to serve the least of these. Instead of living for yourself, living to serve others. Not being a regarder of persons. So not really caring what socioeconomic status one came from. I'm free to just be that person that God has designed all of us to be to those who are the least of them. Freedom in that way, when it costs you everything, is the most liberating type of freedom. And we are free to advocate for justice. Freedom from um, political oppression. Work for justice in society. Freedom from slavery of every type. Create opportunities for people who are disenfranchised. And the room to become all that God created and Jesus died for them to be. I need to be free to be able to minister to hurting people. Freedom from all of the things that might weigh us down. Free to become all that God's called them to be. The sky is wide open. You really make your beliefs yours. The options are kind of endless. That word free, it really packs a lot of heat. Free. 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 And so, Freedom can take all of those various manifestations. That word free is far larger than it is in the number of letters. Important values of early free Methodists. And so we are very excited as we approach our 150th uh, anniversary uh, because we believe that uh, a message that God wants to set people free and wants people to claim their design and their destiny that he intended from the very creation. Uh, we believe a message like that of freedom and healing and wholeness and well-being resonates with the deepest needs that people have today. And so uh, we're anticipating that uh, renewed faithfulness to our original calling will put us in a place of great opportunity where God can bless us and we in turn uh, because of that can be a blessing to the whole world.